Here we are at Nature's Nectar. I'm going to be splitting my hive. It's quite large, so I need a new queen to put in the second box. All the queens this year will be marked with blue, so that way next year I'll know that my blue queen is one year old. So I'm going to call her Indigo Isis. Here you can see the attendants attending the queen. Well, it's May 15th, and this is the wintered hive. I put the excluder in there yesterday. Now I'm going to look mm -hmm. to see which box has the eggs in it. Let them know I'm coming in. Ooh, nice. I'm just setting this box down here on top of the outer cover. I'm going to look to see if the queen is down here. So I want to see if there's any eggs. I'm going to move the second frame so I don't disturb the living part of the hive. Now that's all honey capped. It's good. Here we have capped peas. Here are some of the larvae. You can see the little grub looking thing. That's the larva, and then those little three spots above that one is capped. Those are larvae that grew to a certain age and they are capped. And the queen is laying eggs and going away from the capped area. And here are the tiny eggs. The little dot on the bottom of the center of the cell. She sticks her butt down there and drops out an egg. And anybody who knows how your eyes age after 40, these are hard to see. So now I'm going to put uh, five brew boxes here in the new split. We'll just rub them down into the other box. And this has got a lot of nice brood. And move this box over here. Here's brood. I want them to go back into the parent box. And what we're going to do is, when I put this new split on top of this parent queen box, all the bees that come up through the queen excluder will be nurse bees. And those nurse bees are about a week and a half old. And then I'll take all that young hive and that will be the new hive that I will put the new queen in. This is just a turkey feather I'm using. I don't have a bee brush. This works just fine. This is all pollen. I'll put this on the outside of the brood. So when they are in their new spot... Oh, I wonder, is that a... Uh, queen cell. I think it is. I'm just going to take that off because we bought a queen. I didn't want them to make a queen because I would waste a lot of time. So we'll put that on the outside. And we'll do the same thing with the other three frames. We'll get all the bees off and put them in there. This is going to be the one that receives the new queen. And I'm going to put just some old used... These are um, from another hive. This is already built comb on that side. So they'll have more room. So that's ten. So I guess... Being a new beekeeper, I can't count, so I only have three frames in here, and I guess I should have somehow had five, but I have six in the other hive. That's going to be the new colony. 
So we'll put empty frames, brand new black foundation. And I found a frame that already that was old comb. So I'm gonna put that right next to what's already there. And we're gonna leave it with nine frames. It's actually sometimes easier once they start building out the comb to work with nine frames instead of 10. So then I just kind of even them out as much as I can. And then we're gonna put this, this hide box on top of the queen excluder. And we know the queen is in this box. Give them a little smoke so I don't squish too many of them. So we're gonna put this box here and this box up here. So now we have the queen down here. We have the six frames of brood and pollen and honey here, and then three frames of brood. And so now I'll wait for 24 hours, and then all the nurse bees will be up here, and those bees are a week and a half or so old. So this is the box I will take for the split. So these two boxes will be one hive. We'll be back tomorrow to do the next step. And it's actually almost sunset, which is a little late to be working with bees. You should work with bees around 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. The queen is down here. We're going to take this box, and that's going to be our split, our divide. I'm going to take this cork out. Take this off. Like so. And that's the parent colony. This is the hive that wintered over. After waiting for 24 hours, this hive here has been queenless. And I'm going to introduce the new queen. I put some duct tape around the, both sides, the corks, and I'm going to put her into the hive. They're probably really uh, upset because they don't have a queen. They're probably trying to make queen cells. Okay, I have her in my pocket, so I'm going to put her in here, and I'm going to just let it you can see how I push the frames together and so it's embedded a little bit in the wax. That way it won't have a chance of falling. Right now she is foreign to this hive because all of the bees in this colony smell like the wintered over queen. This four day adjustment will allow the bees here to understand that they're getting a new queen. By that time all of these bees will have accepted her. They'll all have the new pheromone smell of queen indigo isis. It's been five days actually. I was out of town so I couldn't get into this hive yesterday so we had to wait for the fifth day to uh, let the queen go free out of her cage. I kind of glued it all together and here she is. She looks good. So I'm going to wait till she's at the bottom so I can spray her back so her wings get wet. This is sugar water. That way, she won't fly away. So I'm gonna take this staple out. I'm gonna lift this up and put her on the bottom as soon as her legs touch the side. There she is. Queen Indigo Isis introduced to her new hive. And then I'm gonna close this in so it gets dark. And she will be able to start Raising a family, laying eggs. I'm just gonna arrange these in the box so they're sort of evenly spaced. And thank you for watching T. McDee's Bees. Until next time.